Hey everybody, it's Robin with Creativity RV, and I'm here with my new friend Journey that I met at the 2019 RTR, and she's gonna give us a tour of her great little trailer and tell us about her nomadic life. It's Robin and this is my friend Journey. Do you want to say hi? Hi! And uh, this is her cute trailer. Tell us about your trailer. Well, this is Little T. You know, I got it when it was just uh, inside, nothing there, just a little bit of uh, carpet that you could just roll up and take out. The guys that built it uh, had, uh, it used it as a fishing There's a couple of little rod holders here. Oh, nice. And uh, the windows were in, but nothing else. And my favorite part is the, the sunroof, which you'll see a little bit later. I can lay in bed and look at the stars every oh, night. Oh, that's great. But I just love her. And um, how big is it? It's a five by eight. Yeah, it looks like, like a big refrigerator box, huh? But it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. What do you pull it with? I have a 2008 Escape. And actually, it's really surprising. People don't think that you can haul much with it. But it's uh, 3,500 pounds you can uh, all with an escape. So. That's great. How hard do you find it to hook up and unhook the tow car? Well, you know, no as uh, single women, a lot of times I don't have a lot of experience with that. And you know what? We're pretty stubborn and we want to learn how to do it. And so at first it was kind of difficult, but I can get it going right on right away. So no nice. problem. how long does it take you then now that you have some time? Man, I can throw everything in that sucker and be gone in probably 30 minutes. Nice. You know? Nice. Yeah. How long have you been on the road? I actually just started on the 5th of November, oh but I've gosh. been dreaming about traveling since about the third grade. So oh, this wow. is just the most fantastic. Are ever. you loving it? Absolutely. I wake up happy every single day and I don't even care that I don't have much. I just love the simplicity. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. What's been the most surprising thing you found in your first couple months? What, was there anything that you didn't anticipate that happened that just surprised you? amazing kindness. Right. I was on a journey to have kindness in my life and I was going to be the one that was going to give it if I couldn't find it. But not a day has gone by, not a second, wherever I'm at, no matter whether there's any prompting or anything or questions, it just finds me. And every single person has been kind, helpful, and and it's so wonderful. Right here, this painting, the one girl, her name is Karen Patterson, and I camped by her, and she said, you need a flower box. So she painted it. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. So It and, makes it. I love it. Yeah. It says a lot about who you are, I think. Yep. Kindness is just a major, huge part of this it, everywhere. It's just, I don't even have the words for it. It's amazing. Right. right. Great. Well, can we see the inside? Absolutely. Thanks. So, when I got it, like I said, there was just the grate, and it had a thin plywood on there, and so I could feel the air coming through, and I just had a, a mat, you know, sleeping bag. And um, so now I have a wooden bed, mm -hmm. and uh, just my sleeping bags and stuff as my, my mattress, basically. Mm -hmm. Here's my cassette toilet which I upgraded from a bucket. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so <laughs> Winning. And um, I have a privacy curtain that some ladies sewed for me. Kindness. Yes, absolutely. Nice. But I bought these uh, cupboards here at a uh, thrift shop in Lake Havasu. I, I really like these, but I haven't attached anything because I really want to be able to live in this for a while to find out where I really want things. Mm -hmm. Um, and what I'm thinking about here is putting um, these wire basket-like things like this underneath here. Oh yeah, that would be great. So that way I can put, get rid of all these totes and then put a curtain across to cover it all. Mm -hmm. Because when you first start out, you think you need everything. Right. So my suggestion would be don't take anything. Because people will probably give you stuff, and then you'll figure it out, 
and you'll love it even more right. than having to haul around stuff you don't need. Right. Because I've already given away a lot of stuff. You learn that fast. So, uh, but the sunroof uh, right here is one of my favorite. It's just lovely. Um, here's a nice little cover that I can get uh, shade and it doesn't heat up so fast. So this is one of the, my favorite things. Did you make that yourself? I did not. No, nope, this the the windows and this came it came with it. Here's my little carbon monoxide mm -hmm. alarm mm -hmm. up here Important. in the corner. Got my brush over here and oh, one of the other co-campers taught me this. Here's my clothes. It's in a pillow sham. That's smart. So here's my clothes. Yep. Very smart. Yep. And so this is how you cook, just on a, is it a butane or propane stove? Yep, and actually I recently got uh, my heater buddy hooked up, and it is hooked up to the propane tank outside. Gotcha. And that was really scary at first to uh, learn to do, um, mm -hmm. and now it's like, no, no it's a okay. big problem. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just wanting to get rid of all of this and put the baskets in, and then it'd probably be, be okay, but... Yep, I, I love it. Absolutely love it. So we talked about space, cooking, bathroom, shower. Mm -hmm. How do you do your showers? Um, actually, most of the time when I'm cooking some water for coffee, I will start a pot of water here and then take um, just a, a wash rag, do mm -hmm. the whole sponge bath thing. Yep. Um, but we find showers, that's one of the main things we talk about. So just recently went into Quartzsite to the laundromat, mm -hmm. which has a shower, yep. and they have ice in the little right. restaurant next door. So, right. you know, kind of do all that at once. Um, I really don't want to have all those conveniences in here because the more I have in here that makes it easier for me to stay in here, Mm -hmm. the less I'm going to go out there. Right. And that's what I want to do, is I want to go out and talk to people. I want to explore the towns that I'm in. I don't even care if I'm just sitting there looking at the beautiful rocks. Right. You know, it's, right. just, it's just so peaceful and so just joyful. If there's anybody out there that's thinking about doing this and they're unsure, or they're uh -huh. scared, or they just don't know where to begin, what advice would you give them? Don't watch a whole bunch of other videos. Just listen to Ron. <laughs> no, really. I swear to God, this is not a setup. I no, it isn't because I know I, you know, started out watching a few of them, and I thought, no, I don't want to sit here and watch all this stuff. You know, you were just so encouraging and so positive and so much fun to watch. I'm Thank like, you. that's all I need. I'm thinking the same you thing know? about you right now. And and you just like did it without even getting in a camper. And I was raised camping and fishing and everything like that. So, and I thought, you know what? I just, I'm just going to have fun. That's and right. so take less with you. Don't worry because I, I used to walk from my door to my garage which was about 20 feet away, and be afraid that I was going to get a uh, wolf or something, you know, just something stupid, boogeyman. I walk all over in the desert here by myself, and I don't feel one ounce of, you know, that feeling in mm -hmm. your gut like something's wrong, you know, and if you, for any reason, have a gut feeling that you're in a parking lot somewhere camping, just leave. Right. You know, Trust that's you the way you talk, do it. Yeah. But everything else will come. There'll be somebody right there willing to help you. Uh, great friendships. A lot of fun. Laugh your ass off. Mm -hmm. to your cheeks and your mm -hmm. everything hurt. Mm -hmm. You know, I would just say, you know, do it. Don't even look back. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for taking the time. I love, love, love your trailer. Yep. Your camper. Keep watching Robin and creativity.com. <laughs> oh, is it creativityrv.com? That's it, girl. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Journey. I appreciate you. I'm going to give her a hug as soon as we cut this off. Thanks, everybody. Have happy travels out there and be free.